Hi Mini Makers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a pocket watch as a prop for a play. Today we're going to be making a pocket watch for the White Rabbit in a school Alice in Wonderland play. So I got the role as the White Rabbit and if you've ever watched the movies or read the book then you know that he has a pocket watch. So that's what we're going to be making today so I can you know, share it with the other White Rabbits in the years because the part is split and I hope you enjoy this. So as you can see these parts of the pocket watch have all been printed in our famous red filament. I don't even like red that much but everything seems to be printed in red so it's just the more abundant filament. So we've got these and uh, we're going to paint them with spray paints as you can see over here. So these are going to be gold and so is this but I'm probably going to go over it with a brush to make it look like a diamond and then these are going to be painted black and this the clock face is going to be painted white so we're all going to do it with spray paints prime them all first except from the things that are white because the white we're using is actually a primer and yeah i'll do a little time lapse or something showing you how we um how we sprayed them we have made this box it's just a cardboard box with a hole cut out in the top so we can put our light in it uh, as you can see it's been used many times before but it's very useful but we've got the stuff to make a more better box that isn't just cardboard safety first As just a little tip, I'd like to recommend that if you've got small parts that you've printed, put them on a piece of sellotape and stick that piece of sellotape to a bit of cardboard or plastic or wood even if you have it. Um, it, it just helps them keep, keep them all together instead of there being loads all across the table. Okay, now I'm going to paint them black. So all the paint has been left to dry and we've got our parts and now the only thing that's left to do is paint the top of this and glue glue everything together. But first I'd like to mention the paints that we used. So uh, I think they're all from Halford's matte black um, spray. There's a white primer, whatever covered in other spray paint it is it is white, um, grey primer and some gold metallic which is actually very hard to spray and this was also the paint that we use on the Iron Man helmet that's in my intro so maybe sometime I'll do a quick video explaining that about you know what paints we used and how we made that but anyway I'll show you how I glued stuff together so we've done part of the painting and the gluing off camera but first of all can I just appreciate how cool that looks I don't know why I find that very satisfying anyway I don't know why I'm probably very weird for that but uh, um, do a quick time lapse of how we're gluing it together <laughs>
anything but perfect. I'm actually pretty proud of it for something that's been whipped up pretty quickly. Um, plus it's stage jewelry, so stage jewelry? Uh, it's a stage prop, so nobody's really gonna see it from that close. But I think that this is pretty good. I'm actually not sure whether that was blue, but I thought it'd be quite nice to have it blue. Um, and yeah, also, I don't know whether I've already said this, I can't get over how satisfying that is. Just peeling those off was the my best feeling ever. But um, yeah, I'm very happy with this. And don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and I'll see you next week where I upload new videos every weekend. Bye.